17th year, 16th anniversary and it has been a journey initially full of turbulence. But slowly I am convinced that we are consolidating. Albia plays a significant role and the aim of Albia is to play a catalytic role between the customs, excise, service tax, other governmental agencies and the trade. Having put in about more than 38 years in this field in Custom House and many of our members with loads of experience. Liquid bulb was one segment which was inadvertently being, you can call it ignored by the department when it came to issuance of procedures, implementations of policies because everything was based on the macro business of containerization and maybe machinery and project imports. Even the recent changes, sweeping changes proposed in the financial budget with regards to the warehousing, they had overlooked how it would impact the liquid bulk. In fact, these changes are no doubt path-breaking and revolutionary in nature and will be will all look good for the trade and industry, but for liquid bulk, there can be huge assets and hurdles. And we at Albia took up these issues with the board and uh, we had a sort of good interactive meeting with the board, the chairman and the office, officers of the board. And finally our proposals, representations have been taken note of and all the concerns of liquid bulk trade which otherwise would have been impacted by this implementation of the warehousing policies will now be reconsidered from liquid bulk trade. Friends, having this seminar on our anniversary event, we at Albia, the managing committee, did a lot of brainstorming and decided that it's time because we strongly feel and I'm convinced that in trade, exit trade has been given a stepmotherly treatment by the Operators, that is the businessmen, whether it be manufacturer, importers, exporters, whether it be trader, importers, exporters, because the amount of importance paid to the exit trade is so dismal that eventually it vitiates the atmosphere. And then we get into a system where we start blaming the department. If there are delays, we always point our fingers to the department. Lack of knowledge on part of the trade, I strongly believe and I, I am convinced is the root cause for the decay in the exit trade systems. So there is no point in blaming the department. So we felt that it is better to educate our own people rather than pointing fingers at the department because if I am well versed and well equipped with the laws, with the custom procedures, excise procedures, service tax procedures. If I am able to understand, read the policies and also the import export business which I am into, then obviously the selection of vendors also becomes easy. What we have seen over the years is 70 to 80 percent of the importers, exporters don't pay importance to selection of vendors. It's an L1 system. The paradox is, the same business houses cry hoarse when government introduces certain schemes and they say it is all going wrong because of element system and what we do is worse. With the infusion of element system in the private sector, it sets in DK and that's what exactly has happened. Mercifully, thanks to the initiative of our Honorable Prime Minister, since last year, Invisible changes are taking place and I'm sure most of the people in the trade are unaware of the invisible significant changes which are taking place. These changes are path breaking and although extremely well for the development of the nation. If these changes are to be sustained and more changes to be initiated, be rest assured that within another five years, India will leap into the superpowers of the first three top nations, forget five. I am convinced that with these changes of ease of doing business, make in India, and also the introduction of authorized economic operator, 
self-assessment has already been in vogue since 2011-12 and sadly not many importers and exporters are aware that they are still under self-assessment. Authorized economic operator is yet another status given by the board finance ministry to the trade which includes importers, exporters, custom brokers, shipping agents, installations. But when we spoke to a couple of the importers, major importers, they were looking blank. What is self-assessment? What is EU? So we felt that it's better to have a seminar or a conference. It is not one of those regular seminars or conferences where we have the main intention of making money. It's not commercial. It, here it's educated. So every speaker who speaks will be actually giving you profound words of wisdom. Please do not, you know, normally when we go for conferences and seminars, what we do is we see the list and then we decide like we used to do in colleges or schools, which lecture to bunk. Here there is no room for bunking. One day in a year, out of 365, one day in a year, I am sure this is an education you must all go through. And if you put your heart and soul in this seminar, trust me, end of the day, you will come out refreshed. You will detoxify yourself and you will realize the importance and significance of the seminar. That's one of the reasons we have not even kept a staggering fee for the seminar. It's only to ensure participation that we have kept a very modest and normal charge for people to participate unlike the other conferences and seminars where the fees are mind-blowing, 5,000, 10,000 rupees. No. In fact, we wouldn't even mind giving complimentary to our liquid bulk trade but then the problem is what comes free has got no value. So friends, the first morning, first half session, pre-lunch are very absorbing. Post-lunch is on the authorized economic operator and on the HR for our companies. How? It's not the normal human resources development, but it's a different human resources development perspective for the excel trade, not liquid bulk trade. With this, uh, my only appeal is that uh, before we start as a tradition in uh, our Albia, let us uh, raise our hands, right hand please, all of you. Then with your left hand you will remove your mobiles, put them on silent mode or switch it off. We are living in a world where I was talking to one of the great uh, you know, saints in our country and then he told me this is an era where even if God himself manifests in front of our people, they will tell God, one minute, please wait, let me take a selfie with you or let me first finish my call. So we are so obsessed with our mobiles that we forget that what we are going to assimilate the knowledge and the information. Our mind is occupied in this mobile that we forget and trust me, if you have your mind engaged, even 20% or 50% of your mind is in this mobile, you are, you are going to lose wealth of knowledge. And then afterwards you will say, hey, seminar attend kiya, I'll be a ka. And good speakers, okay, but at the end of the day, what did you take home? Nothing. So please, my friends, I'm just seeking your cooperation. Heavens won't fall. Today is the day of intellect. It's not April Fool's Day, but the day of intellectuals. So let's prove to ourselves that we are all intellectuals and uh, we switch off our mobiles, listen to the speakers, post lunch. Generally the tendency is that lunch ke baat kon bete hai, both nahi ta hai. No. There are important sessions. Just two sessions after uh, lunch. 3.30 we wind up and evening 6 we have the grand glittering award ceremony with this. I would invite on stage our guests of the morning who is going to inaugurate this seminar former member customs and now the ombudsman, Southern Zone, Madam Shobha Chari. Mr. P.K. Dash, Principal Additional Director General Nasen. I would invite him onto the dais, please. <laughs> Friend of the 
liquid belt trade. I call him a friend of the liquid belt trade because uh, he was the one who was instrumental in ensuring that liquid belt which was going through turbulence when the EDI systems were introduced way back in 96, 97 or maybe later, I think 2000, my memory is a little weak. And we were struggling because uh, EDI was introduced and liquid bulb obviously was not considered. The systems were not for liquid bulb. And here was a man who came to our rescue, not only in Mumbai, but also was sent to JMPT on a deputation to install the EDI for liquid bulb, Mr. S.K. Rema, who is now the Commissioner of Central Excise and Customs, Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> Mr. G. Chandrasekhar, advisor, prolific speaker, and equally prolific journalist, freelance journalist now on agri commodities, liquid bulk. He is our advisor to the association, our vice president. Mr. Devdas Chandran, please. We also have a guest from Calcutta, Mr. Devashis Datta from Hindustan Unilever, from Logistic Chain Supply. I'm really grateful to you, sir, for coming all the way from Kolkata. Please come. Before we start this conference, we would invoke the blessings of Lord Almighty by having a traditional lamp lighting. And I would call the dignitaries to please join us for the lamp lighting to allow the commencement of the 17th, 16th anniversary, 17th year of our Aldi. start well for Albia and with this I hand you over back to our Master of Ceremonies and Moderator for this seminar, Mr. G. Chandrasekhar. Those at the at the uh, rear side to come to the front, please. 